I'd like to know what you're going to bring to the table to help either new people or youngsters persuade to vote for you. Well, I think the most important thing that um, uh, my party is doing for young people is giving people the prospect of a job. Mm -hmm. uh, and while all the economies on Europe have been shedding jobs, and they've got chronic unemployment, particularly in southern Europe, 50% youth unemployment, uh, we are reducing the unemployment. The employment rates in our economy are higher than they've ever been before. And even though we've been shedding public sector jobs, uh, the private sector has generated about 2 million new jobs. They're not all brilliant jobs, they're quite a lot of low paid jobs, some part time jobs. But the best opportunity a young person is going to have in life is to be in employment, uh, to have the habit of work. What is happening in Spain and Italy and Greece and Portugal is a tragedy because half the young people of those countries are going to go through 10 years of their lives never having a job. They will probably never work. And I see this in parts of my constituency where there is a culture that people don't work. And it's dreadful because you can't, you can't, you could, you could take them, and I see this, they, you take them to a job, but people get them into a job and they can't adapt to getting up in the morning on time and going and doing something for somebody else. I think they have not done it ever in their lives, they're never going to adapt. So I think the most important thing we are doing is getting young people into jobs. It's brutal, it's not, it's not particularly glamorous, but I think that's the most important thing we can possibly do. And we've, we've tried to do things like cut tax on um, young people in work, uh, provide apprenticeships to encourage people to get into work. Uh, and and the, the contracts you get in the job centre, it's not an option for you to just go and collect the benefit and go home. If you're going to collect the job seekers allowance, you have to sign a contract. And, and I tell you, the people in the job centres have really got into this. I think there's some side effects, people with mental illness or uh, people with learning difficulties sometimes get mashed up by this system and I think you've got to look at how we handle that because some people can't handle these contracts. They're not up to it. And you know, you miss the bus to one appointment. Uh, you start losing your benefit when it's not your fault. I, I think it's I think you've got to look at the fairness of this. But the principle that if you're going to collect job seekers allowance, you've actually got to try and you've got to really work to try and find a job. And I think it's very tough on young people, some young people, particularly if they haven't had the education that they should have had. So you're trying to say something else. Yeah. The only thing is, um, unfortunately I suffer through depression. Mm -hmm. um, and partly the reason being is because of looking for jobs. Mm -hmm. um, and the thing I found very hard is number one, this zero contracted hours, and number two, not even getting a simple letter from the company to say, unfortunately, you haven't got a job. Mm -hmm. um, I find it hard yep. to even open a laptop and look for jobs. Um, I don't want to be on ESA, I don't want to be depressed. But I find it hard day to day just looking for jobs. And it could be a simple thing of like not even getting a letter to say, sorry, you haven't got the job. Or even, you know, sorry, you haven't got an interview. Just things like that. How can you or try and help them youngsters, you know, at least get some sort of confidence in their lives? I think you're, you're describing a very difficult problem. Um, uh, what we have been doing is training people in the job centres to try and give you that support. Um, where do you live? Uh, Harwich. In Harwich. Um, and I know the guy that runs the job centre in Harwich. Um, and you could come and see your MP. And uh, we could talk about it and I could see what I could do to help you. Um, and uh, I'm really grateful you came along this evening and told us that. because. Uh, uh, I need to meet people like you and learn, learn from people like you how we can improve the system. Thank you. And good luck with your job. Thank you. Congratulations for keeping trying. I really admire it. Indeed. Really admire it. Indeed. And I've written a book for young people who've failed at school or been failed at school and are in the position you're in. And I too admire the way you've come here tonight with people not perhaps for your political allies and you've expressed yourself courteously but clearly and directly. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done.